Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss why I appear so mean. Uh, many people have called me very mean, and they have even said that I have started to bully, and I would never want that. I would never want that because I've experienced it myself uh, in elementary, middle, and high school. I didn't come from the friendliest place, uh, not especially for an Asian kid into nerdy stuff like anime. I used to watch Escaflone at like midnight. Now, Escaflone was in the daytime. It was in Yasha at nighttime, uh, around midnight on Cartoon Network. Trigun and all those things, I was really into it. But at that time, anime is not what it is today. Um, it was not popular at all. So I've always been the biggest believer of personal responsibility. I am responsible for my workers. I'm responsible for their payroll. I always make sure to have a 90 day escrow on salaries and then a 30 to 60 day escrow on overhead. That's because I know how it feels when your check bounces. The first startup I worked at, my check bounced. This is true. And I got hit with a fee. It's just a bad feeling when you rely on that money for your rent or for a nice meal or to buy some stuff. I would never want that feeling to be put on my employees and workers. I would never want them to feel like that could happen to them. So I work my ass off to make sure that they can feed their families, they can take their kids to daycare. Uh, many of my employees and workers and vendors they have families, they have children. Uh, one of them, my head developer, and he has two daughters. One daughter is under a year old and the other one is three to four. On my birthday, on my birthday, not this year, but last year, I took them to Chuck E. Cheese. And that was on my birthday. I. That's just the way it is for me. So I would never want anyone to feel like they've been bullied. In my opinion, what I'm doing is I'm helping Wedge. Like I'm trying to help Jacob. Um, Wedge is... I don't think anyone can say that he's well equipped to survive the reality of... You know, if he didn't have a family to rely on, many people do not. Um, if he didn't have the quote community to rely on, and many people do not, then these things will not last forever. Uh, these things are not, oh, they're not constants. They can change at a moment's notice. You can have a health issue at a moment's notice. So you want to mitigate uh, that per percentage of, or that probability. So I, this Friday, I think I made a vlog of it, but the vlog was very choppy and not great. I woke up at 5 o'clock to dress up to go to work at 6 a.m. to my downtown office to meet my entire team. My entire team was there because we had to launch an immigration law firm website. We successfully launched around 9.15. We all uh, had coffee, said goodbye. I drove home. I got back around a little bit before 10, I believe. And the first thing I did last night, the Thursday night before, I prepared all my Patreon stuff to send out, which has already this month has been sent, and the foil Liliana of the Veil. Now, this is a very different case. The foil Liliana of Veil is my gift to one of my subscribers, and the contest was my gift to all of you. I purchased two Masters 25 boxes, on obviously sealed, and I'm going to give those away in some capacity. I haven't decided. I want this one to finally conclude uh, the... It has been shipped with tracking. The foil Liliana from Ministrad has been shipped with tracking. It has been shipped with uh, insurance. And it is supposedly going to arrive in Alabama on Monday. So I just want that one to conclude. And then, but I'm making this video on Friday. I make my videos one week in advance. You probably can guess. So it is my duty to get that card, no matter what. No excuses. Fire Emblem came out last night, and I really thought about spending money on Fire Emblem. I didn't. I spent that money on buying the two Masters 25 boxes because I realized that if I don't buy them today, 
they can get really pricey. And I would never hold a contest. I would never promise you something. I would never promise anyone something I cannot deliver on. So I didn't pull on Olivia. Olivia is my favorite Fire Emblem character uh, by far. She's my only plus 10 on both accounts, the original Olivia. And for the most part, I don't really play Fire Emblem. People ask me what tier I am and stuff. Ah, I just collect. You know, it's collecting, right? You get to collect princesses. So why not? And this new Olivia came out, and I was like, yeah, I was super excited, right? She came out at like 2 a.m. on the Thursday. So I was like, yeah, I'm real excited. But I had to get up at 6, and I knew that we have interns coming on weekends, and I like to do fun stuff and show them you know, different parts of the town with my interns. And that's my responsibility too. So some people uh, that you meet in life, they take, your prom- they take promises they take responsibility seriously. I, so from 10 o'clock, I went straight to the place. It took me half an hour to get to the post office. I waited in line for one hour and I got a phone call uh, half an hour when I'm waiting. So one hour, around 11 or right after I'm done. And the phone call was, hey, you need to come back to the office because we have this client who just came in you know, from Dallas. Uh, it's also a law firm. And they want to see you because they're in town and they thought that after lunch, they would come hang out with you. A lot of our clients like hanging out. We had a rug store. We had um, these other clients who would play Call of Duty with us in our uh, main conference room. Uh, I will take you on a tour. I just forgot my, I couldn't bring, well, I wasn't going to bring my uh, camera because, you know, it was serious and I had to dress up and stuff. So I went, I raced home. Dressed up, uh, my cat had to go to the vet. I wasn't expecting to go back to work, but I went back to, I have to go to back to work because clients are important. So I waited for my dog sitter to get here. Um, she knows the vet very well and she's been a blessing. She's really been amazing. Like, And then that, that's what it is. If you are, if you promise stuff, like I promised my dog sitter I'm going to be here and I promised I'm going to pay her and I always pay her. I always tip her. Um, my dog groomer is a different person, and she only speaks Spanish. I don't really know what she's talking about. And so when I give her money, she tries to give me the money back because it's a tip, right? She tries to give me the money back, and I was like, no, no, no. And this happens every time. Uh, Norman actually needs to go see her sometime soon uh, because his hair has grown long again. You treat people the right way. If you promise to send out this foil lily, you send it out. If you have to go to the post office for two hours, That's what you do. It wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it. And it turns out to be a really awful day. If I'm promising Masters 25, I need to go out and buy Masters 25 today. Because tomorrow, I don't know if I have the money. I don't know if I have... I don't know what the product price would be. It could be like $400. And at that point, I'd be like, oh, well, guys, you know that thing that I promised that I would deliver to you? Well, I'm not going to do that because it's too much money. No, I'm going to buy the product today to have it to give away. So when I make the contest, that foil lily, I pulled it myself. And it's been sitting in a binder right next to foil snap this entire time. I didn't trade it. It wasn't in a trade binder of any type. It was just there. So I'm showing you screenshots of a guy. It's very unfortunate. Um, Patreon for seven months, paying Wedge $70. Um, asked many times for tracking. Wedge said many times he sent out. He admitted one time that uh, the package was right staring right in front of him. Like, you must live in a, such a big house to not know where these packages are, right? And actually, it was part of many packages to many people that he didn't send out. You promise something, you deliver it. That is what I grew up with. Um, because there's no more, there's, there's such a sickening feeling when you are promised something. And I my the first startup I worked at, I'm not going to tell you the name. They, they made all types of promises to me. They delivered on none of them. I thought from that time on, I said, I would never do that to my, one of my employees. I would never, ever make them a promise that I couldn't keep. I would never make you guys a promise. A lot of you made jokes, oh, the free little, as soon as we had 30,000, even though this account was suspended, we gave out the lily. 
And guess what? We gave out the lily, I think, on Sunday night. And then Monday, we got confirmation. Tuesday, I think I got the address Monday or Tuesday. And it came out Friday morning. That's when the tracking and the insurance came with it. And I have a receipt. Imagine that, having a receipt, right? We're tracking. It's like such a unique concept. Um, but that's why I think um, people think I'm mean because personal responsibility, no one wants to talk about that. Everyone wants to live at home, but not everyone can. And I love hiring people who have had a tough life, who need a break, who will work so much harder for you. Sometimes it doesn't work out. I'm not going to lie. I have not always, that's why we have this policy where the five core members, anyone can veto it. Our content writer, Jessica, can veto a developer if she wants because that's my team and I trust them to make decisions that I always want to hire people. Let's hire someone else. As soon as we get money in, I want to hire people. But the team understands that like, hey, the money I'm using to hire them would go to them. I don't take like a huge profit. I take enough, I'm eating I'm eating a bagel that's four days old right now. I couldn't buy. I didn't buy. A, I didn't buy a single ore pack to get Olivia's because I knew I needed to buy Modern Master Twenty Five for you guys at this current price. The price is pretty good. So it was either play some Fire Emblem, which I really wanted to do because Olivia is my favorite, or you know buy something for you guys, uh, which then I have just sitting at, like, it's right here. I can see it. Um, and that's why I feel like people think I'm mean. Because personal responsibility, no one wants to deal with it. No one understands it. Like, no one... Small side. Small side. Um, and I'm just going to put this out there. I have a lot of respect for, uh, and I, I mentioned this on my Facebook and stuff, and that's why I'm saying it right now. Um, I have a, a very large respect for people who take care of their families, people who are veterans, people who are police officers. I, I can, I, those are jobs that I personally am not equipped to do. Uh, they're very tough and difficult jobs. Um, I think you know they should be paid more for sure. And definitely all this controversy with like, oh, their pensions. I mean, that's ridiculous in my opinion. They should get their pensions. They deserve it. They relied on it. It's crazy for me to think that's even a question. I'm not perfect. And I'm not perfect. But if I promise you something, you will get it delivered. On time, with insurance, with tracking, and even if that affects, even if I'm not happy because the day has been awful, it's still going to get delivered. And even if you don't appreciate it, I will still give it to you because it's a promise. Bye, guys.